be such a big issue. But ladies and gentlemen, let's go straight into the land of dawn for game number two between Cambodia and the Philippines. Let's check it out. Let's see. Is it going to be the Cambodia games or is it going to be a Philippine with two and zero Whoa. clean sweep? Hang on, this is a box here in the jungle for Del Rosario. It's Ooh. actually the fat up with the vengeance and the magic, magic shop in the EXP lane. Already a bit of a plot twist we're seeing right here. Yeah, interesting. Del Rosario with the Baxia jungler. So it means that Padap, he has chance to win the lane with Boom in the top lane. It's an assassin against a fighter. And on paper, it doesn't really make sense. But of course, Joy is very, very strong right now. We'll see if the Yud Song can match up against a Joy, especially in the early game. But Del Rosario taking as much early game jungle creeps as possible, ensuring that he does have a bit of a lead. <laughs> OPJ tries to go for the steal, but Villa Luna will actually just block him away. And that is a good chunk of damage to OP as well. This is the babysit meta we've come to expect from this dig. The babysit that comes from Villa Luna in the bottom lane, it will mix at least Soriano will have a chance to get the first blood in the early minutes. But it's gonna be a problem if there's gonna be a rotation coming from Cambodia here. Meanwhile, Soriano Ooh. trying to kill OP away here. Ooh, with a flicker that comes from OP. Well, here comes Del Rosario coming in. OP will be too low. He gets first blooded by Del Rosario. And that is the speed we talked about. That shield unity means that Del Rosario can't be anywhere at any time. And the Cambodians, once again, lose their gold laner. That is not the result they want. Yeah, the rotation is still there for coming from Philippines. Meanwhile, Cambodia have to be careful because the Rosario can come anytime that he wants. And now, they're kind of trying to make Lutu at least. I really like that there's one here with the electrifying bits coming from the Padup. Trying to giving a poke damage towards Lutu in the top lane. The Padup drops the beat, but now zoning everyone away from the turtle pit. Deja tries to do something here, but with the black shoes, he's able to escape. And the Philippines will not chase after getting their objective. They're playing it slow. They understand that the late game is what they're aiming for. Yeah. And now the passive playstyle coming from Cambodia. Meanwhile, oh. trying to pick down the Deja in the mid lane here with a one. Real world manipulation coming from Imam. We talked about going passive, but Imam says, never mind, let's go for the kills yet again. And now with the mid laner gone, you can see the pressure building up from the Philippines. They are pushing all the lanes together, and that means that the members from Cambodia will be shown on the map, and that in turn will allow Del Rosario to actually find opportunities where it won't normally be possible. And it even forced Cambodia to at least babysit, do the same thing what Filalona does with Soriano in the bottom lane here. Ooh, Soriano uses the snipe, but it doesn't really... It wasn't used on the right target, so Opi will be able to survive for now. And Villa Luna is taking a lot of aggression as T is looking for an opportunity. The time journey is popped in preemptively, but look in the back side. The fat up goes in. He's suppressed though by T. Pulled oh, under the turret, but he is still going to be surviving with Adventures as well. Imam with the real weapon collision tries to duel the in the back line. He will be able to win that duel. And on the other side, that's also Soriano picking up a kill. The Filipinos strike again. It's a solo kill coming from Imam with the real weapon manipulation because he knows that there's no black shoes in the hand of Deja and he knows it and now Philippines they are still dominating in the early minutes Cambodia they are seems very lost especially in the gold lane they made that play very very aggressively early on and they just didn't use the right spells in the right kind of order to actually get full benefit. So it seems very disjointed because of the positioning coming in from the Philippines. Oh, they changed the lane. And now, as you can see, already the turtle has been spawning and Cambodians seem like they want to try and contest it, but if they stay too long, they are prone to getting poked down and Del Rosario will scout because he is very, very tanky in the front line and the Cambodians have no answer as the poke damage coming in from Imam will pressure them. Boom, goes to the back line though, but the turtle will be taken by Lutu. But at what cost? Del Rosario goes in and the time journey is popped as well. Boom will be pulled back with the reverse time, but after that, seems like he wants to go for something else. With the real manipulation, that is a lot of damage. So the Filipinos will take one as the, in the top side. The timing is just perfect for Imam with the real world manipulation on the east of Boom's feet. And look at that, another kill for Philippines in the game number two. And now, seems that T really need to use that divine adjustment perfectly. Maybe going into the top lane could be the answer for Cambodia because the Padap is just by himself in the top lane. The 
Meta pops in that vengeance and actually goes just a slight bit back in. He knows he has the mobility to try and make the place happen. And just like that, four members from Cambodia shows on the top side, or at least converges on the top side. And while doing that, the Filipinos have been pushing the other lanes, setting up already for the next objective. And as always, pressuring so much in that mid lane. With the turret taken down in the bottom lane for Philippines. Now Soriano can make the rotation and look at that. There's another reload if it comes in. Lutu trying to so hard to just going back. But though Sorio with the tortoise poison, of course, he doesn't want to let Lutu away. And no, with one shot coming from OP, make sure that the Padab need to recall it away. A Must trade. Recall go back, going to back into base. That's a trade of place in the mid and top side. And the Filipinos definitely come out on top here, taking the mid turret as well. This means that the rotations are just going to get faster and faster for the Philippines. And for Cambodia, they need to be very careful because now their jungle is vulnerable to being invaded. And as we say that, Vila Luna with the Enchanted Talisman will be able to use a lot more of those bombs to try and set up traps for the members of Cambodia as they actually are converging, hoping to get a pick off with the Conceal, heading for the bat up here. He does not see the ambush coming in. The Shogun at finally as well, but look at that. T will be the first in the front, trying to go with the Divine Judgment. He is suppressed, and the Petrify will ensure that he is not taken out, actually. The shielding is just so strong right now. He's playing so what? much time. Opie almost getting taken out, and it's the bat up flexes his muscles, but he won't be able to get that kill. The Cambodians take him out, but on the other side, they spent so much time trying to get that kill. He almost got a one actually, Arashi. But LP is still able to survive. What? This actually it's a long time that has been bought by the part up in the bottom lane with one versus four. And the part up still able to hold for a couple maybe a couple seconds there. I think it's way more than a couple of seconds, Momo Chan, but Already, Soriano feeling the pressure, knowing the danger from Cambodia. They spent so much time and they lost a turtle and a tarot in the top side and as an exchange. So you can say it might be worth it, but the Luna actually gets picked up. But whoa, that's a flicker being used by T. I think it's not as, uh, as planned. And Imam tries to trade back that damage. And now the ultimate from T is no longer available for the side of the Cambodians. The Filipinos might look for something knowing that that is the case. With the five gold. Okay, go please for Philippines now, Cambodia. The car seems lost. They need to find a way how to deal with the damage that coming from Philippines, the massive damage. Opi. Oh, that's a real mission being used by Imam. And the Filipinos will take out T, but at what cost? The pad up just zoning everyone oh, in the back line though. Boom is going solo in the back line. He is way too low. He gets pulled back by the reverse time, and Soriano will take him out as both teams they dove towards each other and compared to the new song you see that the pad up on the joy actually is able to more decisively zone away the members from cambodia every time cambodia wants to counter philippines back they still cannot win the counter here meanwhile Whoa. another but serious of unity comes from rosario and the defined judgment come from t it's still late for t meanwhile the result is very very tanky as the front laner for come from philippines meanwhile soriano just play as Aggressive as he wants, he wants to take all the objective in the mid lane. And now there are five turrets in the hand of Philippines. They were able to take out one more turret in the mid side, and it's just pure calculation coming in from the Philippines. They don't have to do anything special. All they have to do is push the waves, make sure that the Cambodians are forced to respond, and either counter engage, disengage using the time journey, or just poke down the main front lines until they're low enough. And once they see opportunities, Del Rosario just rolls in like he owns the place. And the, fo the follow-up from Imam and Soriano is just way too dangerous. And now, now, now with the Lord coming in though, we'll see if the Filipinos, they go for a big fight, a big dive, or are they going to be content just destroyed. picking up one, more, one or two more turrets? Mm -hmm. The Defined Judgment from T really need to be executed perfectly. But the problem is, who will get the Defined Judgment from T here? Meanwhile, it's going to be a slow effect coming and also another real world manipulation pops up from Imam and there's going to be a Lord being taken down. Oh, look at T though! He gets pulled back and Soriano will be able to take him out and that will be it. Wow, he was trying to make a play happen so hard, but he just gets taken out, unfortunately. 
and now without their main engage tool, the Filipinos are looking for something. Imam gets chunked down and Joe Rosario goes in, but that is still a lot of damage traded back by OP on this Beatrix. And Daffy Dab just, just zoning everyone away with that sustain of, from the concentrated energy. It's very difficult to deal with and the Filipinos will be able to get one more base target. And now Philippine, they want to play very objective. They don't want to make a mistake. They don't want to let Cambodia to turning back the table right now in the game number two. Meanwhile, T, even though he already tried to use that flicker and also the defined judgment, he still failed. He still failed. So it's very tough for Cambodia. Meanwhile, Philippines, they just need to wait for the second Lord to pop in in the minute number 12, maybe. Look at the discipline coming in from the Philippines. The only kill that the Cambodians have on the table is when they send four members and use so much time to ensure that the bad up gets taken out. Without doing that, there's zero kills on the board for Cambodia. And that means that the gold lead is so one-sided. But at the same time, if they're able to get a pickoff and get a kill, a shutdown onto OP, for example, that could be the winning solution they need. They have to contest the Lord, I think, Cambodia. They cannot make... Um, they, they cannot let Philippines actually can get the, the Lord Ooh. very free. But now, yeah, but they're trying to open all of the... Oh, the Rosario, here. though, in the back side of the first person is doing a lot of damage here. He is suppressed and pulled to Divine Judgment, but Boom, on the other hand, gets taken out so, so low. The Petrify is used as well. It's a trade between Lutu and Del Rosario. Both jungles not there, but the Filipinos are able to take the middle base turret, and they are not done just yet. They will be kiting away, and with all the spells being thrown backwards, the Cambodians Oof. cannot contest, but Villa Luna, that is the damage the Snipe has in store for them. Mm -hmm, but Imam is trying to give him a poke damage with the Auron Bomb and also the ultimate snipe from Soriano. Trying to give him a poke towards the boom here. Meanwhile, they want to get another best turret. Nine turrets in the hand of Philippines and now the next Lords could be the objective for Philippines to just secure their game number two. They have full control here and T actually purchased the fleeting time so he's trying to go for a lot more pickoffs, a lot more divine judgments but do they have enough damage to try and make that happen? Right now with the pressure, with the vision in favor of the Philippines, they will be able to actually take this Lord without any content at all. Yeah, I think it's quite dangerous. If Cambodia, they want to try to contest the Lord. Now, Philippines, they just need to wait. The Lord is going into the mid lane, trying to crash everyone into the base of Cambodia. And now Philippines, they have to play disciplinely. If they want to secure, if they want to end this game as soon as possible, they have to make sure that Philippine and also maybe, especially Soriano, cannot be caught by the member of Cambodia. The main threat for the Philippines right now must be Boom on that Yu Tsong, diving in the back line, but now he is zoned away by that Rosario alone. And look at the poke damage coming in from Imam. The real world manipulation is being used, but it's canceled by the Black Dragon form. Oh, but the bad up tries to actually punish that play. Oh, Divine Judgment is being used, and Soriano, surprised with all of range here, you can't even see it. And the Filipinos, they are still in the fight though, as Boom tries his best. Divine, the, the, the first dive with the Petrify as well won't be enough as the Filipinos are slowly but surely chugging down and that will be the Filipinos marching like a boss into the grand finals they have taken out Cambodia 2 and 0 for Philippines against Cambodia